Dude! No joke, Yo. look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> cool! <laughs> What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to a new video. Today we are looking at 10 strange tech products that may waste your money. That is, if you choose to buy them. But don't buy them yet! You gotta wait for my review first. <laughs> Clearly, I mean like, come on. You gotta see if it's actually a product that's good or bad, if it's tasteful or wasteful. And I'll be the judge of that! Okay, Tanner? Okay. Tanner's joining me. Uh, he's picked out these 10 items. So, uh, begin. <laughs> Baby crying analyzer. Oh my gosh. For real though? I spent some high quality dollars for this thing, okay? What is this? Now you will know why your baby cries. Not when or if, why. Stressed crying, sleepy crying, annoyed crying, bored crying, and hungry crying. Here's the one of the things. This, I would have to say, is not for mothers. This is for fathers. Because Luna cries, and like, sometimes I can figure out why she's crying, but it's generally based on like the time of the day because it's like, if it's like a little bit late, okay, yeah, she's tired. If it's like right before we usually feed her, yeah, she's hungry, you know what I mean? Amanda can communicate to this baby as if she was speaking words. Really? Oh yeah, I'll be like, why is she crying? She'll be like, oh, this happened and this happened and this happened. I'm like, how do you know that? <laughs> she's like, I just know. And I'm like, mothers, dude. <laughs> It's impressive. Okay, look, this is how. This is the science behind it right here. Hungry, energetic cries with a high-pitched and demanding tone. Bored, groans that disappear if you play with the babies. Yeah, but then you've already figured it out. Annoyed, starts with a long moan followed by a long period of pause. Sleepy, moans grow if we try to stimulate babies. Stress, intense and initially short cry following. Okay, so they seem to have a little bit of science and studies behind it. Whoa, comes with batteries. Yeah, it's batteries. I, that's rare, I feel like. Let's just see if I can trigger it. <laughs> They're like, nah, dude, you're just an old man. Okay, so right here we've got some links. Evidently, YouTube <laughs> demonetized and took down this video because babies crying is probably against their new terms of service. We're gonna use it for science, though. <laughs> it's ready on its own terms. It's making me so sad. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's okay. stressed crying. That is sad. That is legitimately really sad. That he got it? No, if it's stressed crying and this is accurate and they're just recording it rather than helping the baby. Oh yeah, you're getting way deeper. <laughs> I'm than getting, well, I mean, I mean, what's even more sad, it's got 3.4 million views. Why are this many people watching crying babies or listening to crying babies? I'm triggered. My word, what have we stumbled upon YouTube? I'm awake at midnight, about to pass out and listening to a baby cry. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> now that a it's ready, one. try crying into it yourself. So we okay. can Tell what you are. Okay. It's a happy baby. No, I think you're hungry. Oh, I'm hungry. Uh, that is accurate. Yeah. <laughs> I am a hungry baby right now. So far, so good, dude. <laughs> two for two. Well, one for one. We don't know about the, the other baby. Hopefully, it's not stressed out. I would assume it is. I would be shocked if it was actually any of the other ones, just because of the circumstances. You know, when they're recording a crying baby, to get a recording of a crying baby, it's not like they're going to be like, oh, help the baby. They're going to be like, let it keep crying. We need to make some money off this crying baby. I don't like anything about that. Yeah, exactly. So let's just move on. I say this seems to work. A plus. A plus. Tasteful. Tasteful. <laughs> Arch here, A320 Bluetooth speaker with strong bass. Actually, that looks like a pretty dope looking speaker. I'm not gonna lie. That's like a stylish looking speaker. Like if you're a dude and you're like, got a nice lady coming over, mm -hmm. you know, you wanna treat her with respect. You don't put out some type of crappy iHome speaker with weak bass. You need the strong bass. To, to a strong man. Exert the strength from your pores. She's gonna walk in there, she's gonna be like, this is some weak bass. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's happened. I usually get, I'm leaving because of your weak face, but it's not <laughs> gonna take weak bass. That's a shame. Yeah. This product was sent to us from our cheer. Oh, dude, they sent us two? Yeah, two thick speakers. Thanks for giving me both. I don't need both. <laughs> I thought you'd want both. I, I'll only open up one because I'm pretty sure if I open up the second one, it's gonna be identical. It might be, but what if we want that stereo sound, you know? Oh, true. It's big, heavy. It looks clean. Ooh, I like that. It has this like almost fabric feel right here. If you get in real close, you can see like this kind of fabric feel. That looks clean, dude. No, that dumb tweeter crap. Tweeter. <laughs> you know, they put on the end to make it, oh, it's a speaker. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it kind of looks like a koala bear <laughs> face too. Yeah, it does. Mickey Mouse almost. All right, dude, let's connect this puppy. Boom. 
Okay, so it has been connected. Do you have Spotify? Boy has Apple Music. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Matthias Bacon song. That's coming out of the phone. <laughs> Definitely. I'm shocked you had to put that to your ear to figure that out. I was out. like... You get it? This is playing from someone else's phone. Your phone is not connected to it. Is that Dave's phone? Are we playing from Dave's phone <laughs> right now? <laughs> <laughs> is this what Dave's listening to right now? It's so peaceful. Should I go ask? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Dave. It was totally Dave? Yeah, it's his, it's his phone. He wasn't listening to it, but we pulled from his phone as like his song. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, now that they're paired, they're paired together too. For that stereo sound, like I thought you were joking about. Ooh, that is some deep bass, dude. Also fine, oh please, please, just be mine. I'm bacon, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'd wait for so upset. Why would you do that to me? Why would you I don't know why you would do that to me? That song just kind of fell apart in the end there. <laughs> Not quite sure. I don't remember that part. <laughs> that bass is clean, dude. I'm gonna say tasteful for real. Actually, these are gonna go good in my new office at home. Oh, not even this one over here? No. Oh, okay. My office at my house is much better. I hate this place. <laughs> the smallest camera in the world. The really? Y2000. Wow, that is some bright, like, reflective text right there. I'm not sure if I just can't see it, if it's that small or <laughs> if it just fell through the packaging here. Record by one touch, recording anytime. Oh, sweet. I absolutely hate those cameras that you're like trying to record with and it's like not 12 o'clock yet. I can't record before lunch, okay? <laughs> <laughs> this camera won't let me. I had to pay extra, wasn't worth it. There's nothing interesting happening before lunch. Let's be real. <laughs> Photography by one touch. USB and card reader, blah, blah, blah. Oh, no way, dude. 640 by 480 pixel video recording. That is the worst. <laughs> that is my first camera. Really? My first camera I ever used was an RCA camera. I actually, it's on my shelf in my room as an artifact. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'll show it to you when you come over. I love to see it. Micro SD card recording during charging. You know, when you want to record plugged into a wall. <laughs> wait, 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 don't go away! Do the funny stuff in front of me! <laughs> Recycle, record. Wait, what? Yeah, when you want oh. to recycle your recordings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes total this sense. is not a great joke. Can you do it again? I'm gonna just recycle this recording. <laughs> How could you recycle something digital? I mean, don't you have recycle bins on your computer? <gasps> bum bum bum. <laughs> They made it in the shape of a camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? This is tiny. Look at this. Am I even zoomed in? Yep, I'm fully zoomed in. <laughs> that is actually tiny. It is not, however, the tiniest camera in the world by any means. How do I turn this on? Oh, the button right here. There's a button right here. How do I know when it's on? Oh yeah, look, it's on. I'm actually surprised that you can put a micro SD card into it. Am I videotaping? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a dad. Okay, now I'm recording. Hey everybody, peace among worlds. It's me, Tan Dad. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> How do I look? Probably horrible. So now let's see what that looks like. Okay, now I'm recording. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> me, Tan Dad. I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> it's like I was pointing directly at you from like five feet away, and it was so punched in <laughs> and to the left. That was the most Cloverfield looking video I've ever seen in my life. She's Gosh. like, if you plan on shooting a horror film or some type of like end of the world type thing, this is the camera for you. <laughs> for everyone else, that is wasteful. But if you actually want this, let's do a giveaway, dude. <laughs> All you gotta do is leave a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed. By the time it gets to you, probably won't work anymore. I'm gonna be real, but you'll get it. <laughs> Next item, octo-core six gigabytes. So six gigabytes of RAM, I'm assuming, and it has an octo-core, which is actually impressive, and it's only $379, and you can get it in these different colors. That's pretty cool. This is not sponsored by them. They just sent us the phone. So it's meant to be like this rough and tumble, like outdoor phone. Oh, it's got a Sony sensor. Woo! Every single camera in this office is Sony. Did you know that? Yeah. Besides the 1GG camera, every single camera is oh, the, Sony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
Ooh, I like the packaging. I was just about to say that. Eromu. We got two boxes here. Oh my word. Dude, this phone is intense, bro. This is not a joke. Yeah, that's Batman's phone. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, feel that. That is like metal. Yo, that is fire. 21 megapixels. So micro SIM cards. Does that mean there's two? You could put two SIM cards in that? Yeah. Micro SD SIM. card, volume. Dude, look at all these awesome push to talk. Dude, I love push to talk. I'm not even joking right now. Push to talk is so cool. It's literally where you just push and you talk. It's so much easier than like texting or other interneting. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Children, <laughs> camera button, SOS button. Ooh, what if I accidentally press that? <laughs> Wait, what does the what SOS if, button do? What does it do? When you give me a weird look, I press it. This is gonna be satisfying. Ooh. Okay, so let's turn this puppy on. Can Ooh. we address where the camera button's at? That's a perfect location. I know, the, the camera button right here yeah. for just being like bop, 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 bop. Love it. This feels like I could chuck it. I mean, you could chuck any phone, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Oh, what? Dude, I peeled this off and there's a screen protector on it under this. This is high tech. Dude, that's clutch. Apple, take notice. I mean, like, why do I gotta go out and buy another screen protector? I'm not even joking right now. My new iPhone has micro scratches all over the screen just from putting it in my pocket. I'm careful with this thing. Okay, now that I'm unlocked, I press the camera button. Oh, look at that. You have like all these like settings. One of the things, again, about the iPhone that I don't care for is that you can't really adjust settings and stuff like that. We're gonna do a comparison video? Uh, no, I'm no. just gonna take a picture of you. Okay. <laughs> Ready for this, dude? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna focus on your Me face. Like you actually have a good side? It's not a bad photo. Cause it's my good side. That's one of the things that I really do like about the Sony sensors. I like the color. It's a little bit pastel. It's not super accurate, but I'm not too concerned about hardcore accuracy. It's just slightly pastel, which I really like. It gives everything a, a really nice soft feel. Warning you're entering. Oh, okay. So if you hold this, it says warning you're entering the rescue pattern reminder. Oh, let go. So that's pretty cool. So this is another great thing when you're out and about in the real world, not just suburbia. And you know, you break your ankle, hold that button, boom, send this for help automatically. Pretty cool. I just like the fact that this thing is durable. Oh wait, push to talk. How do I do? Oh yeah. So it automatically opens up an app. I already have Zello account. I don't have a Zello account. I wonder if I can move that over to Boxer. That'd be so clean. <laughs> just be like, what's up, what's up? You know? Hey, what's up? Good looking. You won't say that to me though. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Let's keep that clear. <laughs> <laughs> so the second box up in here is, I'm told, wireless charging. Ooh, that is clean, dude. Super That's clean. like the best wireless looking charger I've probably ever seen. Need is it already charging it? <laughs> it's gotta be plugged in. Oh, I'm just making sure that was spooky. I was really concerned right when you put it down, it lit up. I was like, whoa, what the heck? Dude, this is not a joke too. Little body oh. boom boom. <laughs> Bent my desk. Good stuff, dude. I'm saying this is tasteful. Next item. Bugle alarm clock. Mama exclusive. What? This would be so upsetting to wake up to. Could you imagine? I it's just cry. like, Arr! maybe that's not the horn that they're I talking think it's about. Like a, no, I did it. Arr! Come on, that's a good aruga. Yeah, you got, the, you got the deep throaty thing to it. Give yourself an old fashioned wake up call with this nostalgic clock from 1906 with sounds like a telephone in an old Hollywood movie. Okay, so it's not a horn on an old car. It's like a, it's like kind of a thing. You do the sound. It's sounding exactly like mine. You just made fun of me. More L rolling. Now get out. Okay. <laughs> Add the cart. It's actually a tissue box. <laughs> it looks like a tissue box. Oh, what? <laughs> What happened here, dude? Oh, it's just one of the legs. Why are the legs so sharp, dude? Oh my goodness, those legs are so sharp. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought you got hurt. I didn't know you were gonna stab me. Wow, look at this. It actually isn't a bad looking clock. How do you set the alarm? Oh, I see. Is it the, oh. That's not so bad. It's very quiet. How do you turn it off? You literally have to hit the back of it to turn it off. I wanna smack the top of it. Person. Yeah, I, that's what I did. I was like, <laughs> I turn off. Nah. I mean, there you go, man. But you think this would upset you in the morning instead of waking up how you normally wake up? I feel like I'd be like, what the heck? But I'm so used to my current alarm clock sound. What, what it, which is what? I don't remember, to be honest. I only remember when I wake up. <laughs> it's more of like a brand <laughs> dang ding dong ding dong, like that. If that was a song. I'm not a good vocalist, as you can tell, but. Yeah, please. <laughs> can someone turn that actually into their ringtone or like their their alarm and then just like send it to me or something? <laughs> Why you want to wake up? 
wake up to I'm gonna wake up to the ding 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 <laughs> dong and just tanner. <laughs> That's not bad. I actually I think I'm gonna put this in my office too. Cause these these things kind of go together, you know? The like aesthetic. Yeah, no, they do. The black. Good finds, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's tasteful. Connect edge pulse oximeter for iPhone. So we've tried uh, an, a similar oximeter before. I'm gonna say right off the bat, I like the other one better because you don't need to plug it into your iPhone. But if you want to keep track of things, I assume that's why you would plug it into your iPhone. <gasps> Try to do that all in one breath. Add the cart. Oh yes, a dongle. It's something I needed. Okay. I mean, pretty simple. Oh, for the headphone jack. Remember when I made a joke about a headphone jack and then everyone got super upset? It was a joke, 100%. And everyone's like, no, you're just an elitist with your phones that don't have headphone jacks. And I was like, relax, dude. People got mad. I was joking. I like headphone jacks, okay? Jeez, I'm gonna have to start like a new like political party. Don't even get me like started on headphone jills. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's plug it in. Okay, ready for this? Plugged in. Oximeter. Oh, there you go. Jar That's paper. pretty quick though. That's good. So here's the thing, right? Remember back when I did the last oximeter? I read a comment that was from an actual nurse and she said my resting rate was actually really good. So I'm not dead inside. Which is strange because all this time, like I feel dead inside. But I mean, we have proof otherwise. Yeah, you're doing great. <laughs> 98 percent and then uh, 64 BPM. Hit me in the back, Tanner. Ah, come on. <laughs> That's the weakest little wimpiest thing, dude. You went up by he two. was like, come on, dude. Look, you're going. Do it! Ah! Something happened. Let me tell you a really funny joke. Wait, 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 wait. Nothing changed. Yeah, 73. Wow, 74. dude. 74. You really know how to get my heart pumping. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I mean, it works. It works great. Flawlessly plugged it in. Worked. So I'm going to say tasteful. Meme memory for iPhone. Automatically back up onto the cable and charge at the same time. Oh, interesting. Is it a coincidence that they named their company Meme? <laughs> oh, it's got it. No, there's no way it's coincidence. Yeah, that's a smart name. They spelled it wrong though. That's actually kind of impressive. So it backs your phone up every time you charge. I mean, iCloud kind of does that already, but what if you don't have an iCloud like this guy? This guy's got an Android device. This guy's a dank memer. He's not gonna be on iOS, right? No memers are on iOS. It's too mainstream, we're right? We're just normies over here on iOS. Yeah, we're just normies. <laughs> Add the cart. I got the app on my phone right here. Congratulations on buying your meme. How'd you even know I bought it? Hit me with that product. <laughs> All right, not bad. I like the branding, yeah. seems clean. Got that like underground basement vibe. And then you just kind of plug it in. Please wait, initializing cable. Okay, I will wait. I will respect you. I'm just gonna do a random one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> totally, absolutely random. <laughs> Here we go. Confirming data, your data, contacts, photos, documents, home. Oh, you have to drag it. Oh, and then you drag, you drag it over to the other phone or something like that. Seems good. Oh, there you go. Contacts, oh. calendars, photos. Oh, so you can choose what to copy over. If you want to copy this phone, Phone to the next phone, you can choose like, you know what? I don't want contacts. I don't want calendars. Just copy over the videos and photos and documents. That's pretty cool. And if you could do it in the background, you know, and you don't have to worry about in the cloud because a lot of people don't want to put their photos and videos in the cloud, rightfully so. It's not secure. iCloud 100% is not secure. My stuff has been hacked. I was hacked a while back by, what's that one dude's name? This, this dude, I forget his name, <laughs> what an insult, but <laughs> hey, that's what you get for hacking me. I forget you, um, but he hacks a bunch of YouTubers. I think he hacked Jack Dorsey, CEO oh of Twitter. Oh my gosh, I know, exactly. it's that group, isn't it? Yeah, or our mind, yeah. yeah, our mind. Yeah, he hacked me and I changed all of my stuff, had two-factor authentication in iCloud and he was still inside it. And he was like, bro, it's, it's, it's a hole in iCloud. He's like, I can get in whatever I want. This kid's like 15, he just wanted attention, no joke. I was literally like, I'm just gonna keep sending my fans after you until you give me back my information. And he was like, okay, it's so annoying. I just want a shout out. No joke. <laughs> hey, did you give him a shout no. out? No, I was like, this guy sucks. Get him. <laughs> and it worked, dude. He gave me my account back. So shout out to you, Armine. <laughs> <laughs> now you give him the shout out. <laughs> so if you want to avoid our mind in the future, this might be a good one for you. Tasteful. Witty Design. Oh, another awesome company name. Naughty. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> they know what they're doing. This is Witty and Naughty. <laughs> oh, it's Naughty, 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 Naughty oh. sitting on the potty. <laughs> <laughs> Smart mood and nightlight with notifications for iPhone. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to look at your phone and you're like, oh, it's a Facebook notification, turns blue. That means don't look at your phone. Facebook sucks. So if you get a green notification, maybe eat some bad seafood. Maybe it knows. <laughs> Add to cart. All right, don't be too naughty. I will try not 
naughty to be. <laughs> we'll try naughty to be. <laughs> uh, alerts, notifications that light up includes text, calendar, alarms, social media, and more. Got some instructions. Oh, it hit me in the back of the head! No way! Yeah, it did! Oh, it's a little smaller than I, I thought. Wow, you're gonna have to... It's really bright already, though. Okay, so how about we turn this puppy on? There she is. Now we connect it with the phone. We can check this out. Matthias Naughty. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, it looks... Whoa. So that's really cool. You go into notifications, pairing request, okay? It can go to the music, alarm timer, color mode. You can like have it go from different colors to other different colors automatically. Yeah, see how it's doing it now? It's just kind of like shifting in between oh. the different colors. I can press pause there. Okay, how do I pair the device? So here's the issue now. This is how it's supposed to work. It's supposed to give you all these colors based on these apps when you get these notifications, but we can't get it to work with the notifications. And evidently that's in the reviews of the device is that other people can't get this thing to work, which is a bummer because it would be kind of a fun little thing to have on your desk, you know, mm -hmm. so to maybe distract you more or distract you less, or if you really are looking for that new email to come in hot and you want to respond to it ASAP, too bad it doesn't actually work, but it does look like a lightsaber crystal, doesn't it? I have it? a good way to test, make sure it doesn't work. It doesn't. Let's see if it goes through and starts working. Tanner Malmadol. Connor's mom shaves his back. Oh, what? Hey, it does work! Yeah, see? Look at that. If I change that, text him one more time, and now it's gonna be blue. It should be blue. Yeah, look, it worked. Bada bing, bada boom. That's actually pretty cool. That's not bad. You know, if you got a loved one, or that, that spicy lady that you're trying to get, <laughs> you wanna like, make sure you know when she texts you, set this to red. Ooh, the love colors. Ooh. All right, I say tasteful. Nekomimi <laughs> Brainwave Cat Ears Novelty One Color. That's lovely. What does it do? Brainwave controlled cat ears. So you're supposed to be able to move the ears with your emotions. Don't worry, my dear furry. <laughs> you can move your ears with emotions. Where does it say that? No, I just made that up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dang, that's clever, dude. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Add the cart. Ooh, Nekomimi. Do you like that name, Nekomimi? Sounds like Necromancer. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds a little off with it. Raising him from the dead. Yeah. The ears respond to your mood. Experience the internet sensation. Who? Who was? <laughs> <laughs> Whom? Whom? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Look at these instructions. This is no joke. For <laughs> what though? Can you imagine someone going through all of this just to prove to themselves that they can make the ears move on top of their head? Dude, check this out. Oh my gosh, Neko Mimi! <laughs> <laughs> I can do it without all these instructions! Oh, where'd the ears go? Sold separately. <laughs> I bet you can buy different, like, flavors. Flavors. <laughs> <laughs> I eat my ears. Oh my word. That's a scary sound. You're like someone from Gattaca. I can't make them move. What is happening? <laughs> Ow, it's pulling out my hair! Hot mama, look at that hunk of meat. Or hunk of cat, I guess. This is my legacy. <laughs> <laughs> you, look, you look half cat, half mat, and then half robot. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I said you're like half cat, half mat. You triggered me, dude. <laughs> So this ear pose is calibrating signal. One ear will perk up and one will droop. This is the dumbest thing. Can you imagine someone actually spending their hard earned money on something like this? Your money's better off just going to charity. Okay, so I am focused and relaxed. A little high interest. <laughs> A little high interest. <laughs> Don't do that face with the ears. That's creepy. It's Mr. Steal Your Kibbles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not good. I'm gonna have to say no. It actually is really hurting my head, but it's most likely not designed for a, a large white male. Maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> you never know, those large white males are weirdos. <laughs> That's gonna be wasteful. Fidget flying spinner, chargeable flyback, finger dice, anti-stress release. What? It's a flying fidget spinner. You're able to just let it go? What Where the were heck? you during the craze of the fidget spinners? <laughs> this, again, was sent to us. I feel like this is probably the most ingenious fidget spinner that there is, but probably potentially the most annoying one, right? Because fidget spinners already really annoy people. Yeah. Like whenever I would just use one, they'd be like, oh, can you stop? Can you stop? Like your fidgeting is fidgeting me, but we'll find out. Add to cart. Look yes, at so that, dude. Guys, give this video a like if you want to see me do a giveaway of some of these things because we have like what? Like one, two, three, four? We got four of them. We're already doing a giveaway in this video, but I got a lot of these things, evidently. Just click like. That way I'll know if you actually, if you guys want these. All right, let's oh see my this. Gosh. So you're supposed to spin it like that. It looks clean just as a fidget spinner. It does. How do you turn it on now? Oh, there's a little switch right here. Is that on? Oh, seems like it's on. It goes the other way. <laughs> Dude, no joke, Yo. look at this. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool! <laughs> I'm challenged with the fidget spinner because a lot of people can just do that yeah. with a regular fidget spinner. This is a good way to kind of like be in between, you know? Oh, yo! <laughs> That's the only issue is that they're they're still a little bit hard to catch, and if you drop it, it seems like it gets a little faulty. So check this out. Ready? Whoa! Yeah, dude. See? That's a one. Look at that, dude. Oh! Whoa. Okay. Oh! oh. <laughs> that, that was you, dude. That was on you. It hit my hand. It hit like my this, hand. And then smacked it, and I was like, whoa! <laughs> Wait, it went down. Did you threw it? it upside down. Wait, I didn't know there's a right side up and downside down. <laughs> it's pushing air this way, and he throws it like it's gonna go up. I just, I wasn't sure when I did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you oh, caught, you caught it. it. Oh, oh. The thing about this is that it runs out of battery a little quick, but you can do it. And after just a teeny little bit of practice, I was able to do it. I would say arguably way more fun than a normal fidget spinner. I'm gonna say it's tasteful. See that video right there? That is an F1 hoverboard. No joke, it's a fast, fast hoverboard. Pretty awesome. And this video right there, 10 ways that we decided to prank people. 10 prank products, it's pretty awesome. All right guys, hope you enjoyed it. High five.